Hello guys, it's me again, Hergio, and we are changing a little bit of things right now, and I'm straight in for the current top stories. Among Us VR is coming really soon this year in November, and we know Among Us had a quite humble beginning and started as a small indie game set in space setting. The game of betrayal and teamwork has quite a simple premise, yet the execution of that formula worked quite very well. The title was developed by the Inner Slot LLC back in 2018 when a game was free of these sassy moves and a mainstream hype. The game had a range of swinging low until it caught the eye of some of the famous content creators and streamers like the PewDiePie, Jack Spectacle, Mr. Beast, and a whole lot of people back in 2020. The game then exploded in popularity and slowly became a part of modern pop culture with memes that still haunt us to this day. Well, the VR version of the game will be more scarier than it has been ever been. There is going to be much to explore and also to meet new friends and other stuff. It's also known to be the new entry to another franchise. Well, let's know what Among Us brings to us. Alright, next on the list, our old school beat em up Street of Rage movie is in the works. Yeah, it's happening. We know Street of Rage was developed and published by Sega first launched in 1991 via the Sega Genesis home video game console. The Street of Rage franchise has spawned sweet sequels across the numerous gaming platforms including the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. The franchise latest title Street of Rage 4 was released in April 2020 and has sold more than 2.5 million copies wide world. Well at least that bit of promising. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people didn't play them. Yeah, because I think it's raining is kind of over. But now with the new this whole setup, let's see how they revive the legend. Yeah, and it's got something to do with the crew from the Sonic movie. Yeah, the Sonic Hedgehog movie. The Sonic movie producer DJ2 Entertainment and Escape Artists will produce the film. So yeah, something coming up. Street of Rage will be the latest project under the DJ2 Entertainment belt, following the Sonic Hedgehog's two impressive box office performance. DJ2 signed an overall deal with Amazon earlier and also it's looking to adopt the Game Awards winner it takes to for the television and the film. Derek recalls that the story writer of John Wick movie is involved in this project. He also was served as a co-executive producer in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier movie. So yes, this is promising. Let's see what our old school Street of Rage movie kicks out to revive the game. And yes sir, next one on the list. Oh. Personally, I really love this game, and I've been playing this game. I've been I've been playing this franchise for long. Well, 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 okay, that's enough. Assassin's Creed VR game is in the works, and it's called Assassin's Creed Nexus. According to a feed, the game will feature timing-based combat, linear missions progression with backtracking, absolutely no side missions. Among a few of the interesting tidbits, furthermore, Ezio is the first character that players will supposedly play. The title brings back to not only fun favorite Assassin's Creed including Ezio Auditor the Frenzy but also Assassin's Creed from the previous AC titles. Ezio, Cassandra, Connor and Heyman all make playable appearance in a variety of different levels. The game has everything you'd expect from the Assassin's Creed title, with stilts, movement, pickpocketing, lockpicking, combat, climbing and even leap of faith. Assassin's Creed Nexus has a total of 16 individual missions with tutorial to get you to grips with the game's controls. With Nexus being a VR game though, there are some differences from the standard Assassin's Creed titles especially when it comes to the movement. Players can also play in one of two styles or a combination of both, which is the norm of a VR by using the controller animal sticks to move or teleport. A stilt is one of the more important aspects of an Assassin's Creed game. Teleport comes with a soundbird that lets you know that if you are letting the nearby enemies or not. Basically, the further away you teleport towards the enemy, the less sound you make. So that is the Assassin's Creed VR for you. And yes, another old school driving is the Crazy Taxi is getting a reboot. The game is reportedly being developed with Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, that's a new crazy graphics for the new Crazy Taxi. It will be aimed at online and global with an emphasis on simultaneous global launches. A feed road the Crazy Taxi has reportedly been development for more than a year, with Sega aiming for a release two to three years down the line, according to the name sources. 
However, sources noted that both it and Jet Set Radio are still in the early stages and could very well be cancelled. A spokesperson for the company offered comments on the report. Modern technology is also a huge part of this framework. Sega wants these super games to be the future of gaming and it's going to use some things which assure that. Cloud gaming and NFTs are going to be a big part of these games, according to the producer at Sega, Mayo Kichi. The company has already laid the basis for both of these things. Partnership with Microsoft allows you to use their Azure Cloud platform and the NFCs got trademark in January, as the company has already done a lot of work in this project. Additionally, the report informs how the Crazy Taxi reboot has been in development over a year. However, both of these games are still in the early stages and could be cancelled once again. This is according to the sources, so hopefully you get to hear about more of these projects very soon. Well, this is it for now for the top game stories. As we know, God of War Ragnarok is on its way, so let us expect more from this game and subscribe for weekly top stories like this and rumors. Until then, bye for now.